It is now time to see what's clicking in Cleveland, or as we like to call it here, Stephanie Haney time. That's right. So, Stephanie, what is clicking in Cleveland today? Well, this one is something that's always clicking for us when a story comes up about this. We're going to start with Cedar Point. And we can tell you for sure today that a piece of debris fell off another roller coaster at Cedar Point this week. Park officials told the Ohio Department of Agriculture today that, yes, something did fall off of the corkscrew. Now, ODA contacted Cedar Point to ask about this, and this is after someone posted a photo on social media on Monday that they said was a large piece of red and blue debris near the corkscrew. No injuries related to this have been reported, thankfully, but Cedar Point has not responded to multiple requests from our partner station, WTOL, asking for their comment. All right, now here is exciting news for Cleveland. Forbes magazine has selected Cleveland as one of the first 10 cities ever to get local versions of its famous 30 under 30 lists. Before now, it was always a national list, but now Cleveland will have honorees under 30 in several categories in the areas of business, art and culture, food, retail, entertainment, impact, and technology. Nominations are open now through 11.59 p.m. on June 9th. We've got all the criteria on WKYC.com and the link to get those nominations in. Great news for Cleveland. All right, now, now it's time for our question of the day. A new Wallet Hub study claims Cleveland is the worst large city in the U.S. to raise a family, and we are not so sure about that. So we asked, what do you love about raising your family in the land? So our first response comes from John Hine, who says it's all about the world-class cultural center, the Playhouse Square, and all of the cultural festivals and activities that we have here. Our next response comes from John Greta, who says the metro parks are amazing. We've got great hospitals, lots of opportunities to get outside here in the Cleveland area. And our next comment comes from Louisa, who loves all of the activity options for kids, plus the Midwestern values that she finds here. And in our What's New Facebook group, Anna says it's about the pro sports teams in town, the Cleveland Browns, the Guardians, and the Cavaliers. And, you know, you got to point out, Jay and Betsy, that that uh, Cleveland local list for the Forbes 30 under 30, they said they did it here in Cleveland because a lot of the people on their national list were coming from Cleveland. So I think wow. that speaks pretty highly of what people are doing with their families and their kids here in Cleveland. I just can't get over the fact that, you know, we land at the bottom of this list for whatever Wallet Hub may be, which I've never personally visited. What is Wallet stage. Hub? Apparently, they're in the business of conducting surveys. Throwing I guess. some shade. What else they do. That's what they do. They throw yeah, shade. That's what they do. They're, they're, they're married to get clicks. But mm -hmm. I think, you know, a lot of people may not think of Cleveland as having. Uh, so many diverse things to do with the family. We have Cedar mm -hmm. Point, and then you go over to Ashtabula County. We've got the world's largest and the world's smallest covered bridges. I mean, come on, where else can you get that? The lakes, the metro parks, mm -hmm. the golf yeah. courses, the culture. The theater, all of that great hey, stuff. Hey, Wallet Hub, come visit. Yeah. And then write negatively about uh, it. Maybe, <laughs> maybe don't visit. <laughs> mm -hmm. How about that? All right, um, it's time for our Worth the Watch. Thanks, Steph, appreciate it.